Talk Tuesday on 3HL. Brent Doherty, Don Davenport, Ron Slay. Jagged yeah, producer for around. Titans Radio is Rhett Bryan. He just hopped in the studio, sitting over there next to Slay, bobbing his Claudio. head. Claudio! It's in the building. Boop. Boom. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Titans have a coach, Brian Callahan. Uh, so Allegedly. All of these, yeah. <laughs> don't say anything you can't say. Because, um, you know. We, I'm kind of surprised just, we don't have a release yet. I think there'll right. probably be one at some point this afternoon. In fact, uh, if it hadn't been out already, I, I would think there'd be one at some point this afternoon. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Yeah, a press conference coming later in the week. Mm-hmm. Um, so your initial take, all, all we heard, at least we heard, was that they want to – and. The reason why this comes up is because people were trying to figure out what's going to happen with Derrick Henry. Well, everything that I heard was that they wanted to modernize the offense, right? And so that doesn't include two down running back who is going to barrel through people and all of those things where it really dictates what your play selection is when he's in the game. And and I'm not comparing Tajay Spears with Derrick Henry. You can't yeah. do it. They're two different running backs. Sure. But with Tajay Spears in the backfield, all I hear from football people is – that gives you a lot more freedom to run multiple packages, run any play you want in your playbook and all of these things. So the hiring of Brian Callahan goes right in line with that whole idea of modernizing the offense. Don't, don't you take it that way too? I do. In fact, when Amy Adams strunk fired Mike Vrabel and then she released the statement, I thought, okay, if you're thinking and I, you look at their candidate list and it was impressive, mm. Like Aaron Glenn, the defensive coordinator of you know the the Lions, and Mike McDonald, the yeah. you know defensive coordinator of the Ravens, I knew there would be some of that element in there. But at the whole time, I was thinking this has got to be a young offensive mind in this because that's what you think about when she talked about Will Levis being the promising young quarterback and you know all of that stuff. And so the first takeaway, as you hear, it's Brian Callahan. Is first of all, I I, I like the move. Uh, I think that is what. I read out of this is that the three yards in a cloud of dust offense that we have known as the Titans for 24 years, Mm -hmm. I think we've turned the page on that. I think this is the changing of the guard. I think this is where they run a modern NFL offense with Tajay Spears and whoever else. And as far as Derrick Henry is concerned, I have no, I'm not, I don't have it on good authority. This is just a hypothesis and a gut feeling, but here's where I think what, what happens with with Derrick Henry. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? I think it's yep. the Baltimore Ravens. Yep. I've thought that since October the 15th when we came home from London. Look at what that defense Ravens. is doing and yeah. how, how do you defend Listen, Lamar? And, and that's the thing. They, they <laughs> always Lamar. have they always have a great defense. They have great special teams. They have most accurate kicker in NFL history and we haven't even gotten to the offense and what Lamar Jackson has done. And Lamar Jackson, everybody's been waiting to see mm-hmm. him become a quarterback. He's not a running quarterback. He is now a quarterback, quarterback who has running ability. Yep. He's making first, second, third, and fourth reads. Yep. He's do. You know how dangerous that is. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. And so, with that in mind, yeah. I've thought since October fifteenth, these are the guys that's going to win the whole thing. Yeah. I still believe that today. And if they do, guess who climbs on to try to go for a, a repeat, a back to backer? Could t- definitely see that. Derrick Henry. Yeah. Can you yeah, imagine I mean, having yeah. him in that it, offense? It really mm-hmm. looks like, based on his conversation with the bus and with the boys guys, that they were this close to to working out a deal with him going to Baltimore already. Sure. Um, so I definitely would, could see you know, that. He wants a ring. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, and Derek, yeah. look, God bless him. He, he's He did so well here. And go get your ring, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, hate Begrudge on that him. Yeah. at all. But yeah. I, I, that would, I think, would be his best chance. I wanted I really to ask you. I wanted to ask you a question when you walked in and then saved it for on the air, but we brought this up earlier. So the common thought is obviously the Titans need a left tackle. Maybe you go Joe Alt, number seven overall pick. Now you bring in a guy who was a part of a staff that in, in Joe Burrow's second year, everyone thought they were going offensive line with that high first round pick. And, and they, they went, went Jamar, Jamar Chase. Chase. <laughs> so does that line of thinking change now that Brian Callahan is here? I mean, it possibly could. I think right? it depends it's interesting. On, I, and, Sitting here January 23rd, I think it's harder to answer because we have not gotten to March 13th and the new fiscal year and what they might do in free agency. Although history will tell you, you can't go buy a bunch of offensive linemen at open pay for them. You can, you you can get wide receivers though. Right. But you cultivate through the draft Mm -hmm. anyway, but let's, let's, I'm going to play along with your, with your question there, because here's the thing. 
what if you're sitting there at seven and let's say both Joe Alt and Fashanu, Ola Fashanu, are already gone off the board? It is a possibility. Mm. Oh, then I'm Brock Bowers all day long. There it yeah. is. Because you know Marvin Harrison Jr. is gone. Yep. He'll he'll be gone and before three quarterbacks seven. probably gone. Right. Mm-hmm. And in your scenario, two offensive tackles gone. I, I'm going slay all day yeah. long, Brock Bowers. That's different. So, and, that's and the different. other part but of I it is. But I think that's a, do you really think there's a point where both of those guys would be gone? With where you are in the draft? It could very well happen. This is a very good draft for tackles and interior offensive linemen and wide receivers. So, the, guess what? Guess who needs those things? <laughs> so Everybody? it's a great what the Tennessee Titans do for yeah. sure. Yeah. And so if, if those, let's just say hypothetically, those two are gone and you want to get a tackle, but maybe you wait and you get them in the second round. I don't know. I mean, yeah. we're, we're playing what if. Yeah, we are. Um, I just I just think y- you have to address at least a position on that offensive line with your first pick. Because you, like we said, I mean, you saw free agency going after, you know, and now granted that was late, but Dillard <clears throat> was a disaster. And for the most part, when you're looking at offensive linemen, if they're not 32, 33, you know, and still playing at a high level, they're going to end up staying where they are because it's yeah. hard to find those guys. Right. And, and I, you know, I'm not, I think the only way that I wouldn't go with a position that you need, which is a left tackle, mm-hmm. uh, is if those two guys are already gone. Because I yeah, think that's, that I agree there'll be that, other yeah. ta- tackles taken on into the, the, the round there. <laughs> right. But I think there's still value in round two. Uh, th- there's a guy that I'm going to go see next week at the Senior Bowl, uh, Kingsley Siomatia. Yeah. And he, he you know, he's an Oregon guy, transferred to BYU. He's a, there's two or three tackles that they've got that I'm going to be looking at next week that mm-hmm. provide tremendous value. And again, there's interior offensive linemen too. Jackson Powers Johnson from Oregon will be there next week. Interested to see him. I love when uh, y'all come back from the senior. Bowl. I Cedric, know. Me too. I know. We can finally make the damn gumbo, dog. Bring yeah. the gumbo back so we can make it. We need it. <laughs> Sheesh. <Dude>. But um. <laughs> But yeah, I, if depending on how it goes with that first six picks, yeah. there's a chance that you get. I mean, you could you could possibly get Malik Neighbors there. You yep. could get Brock Bowers there. Um, but now, to Don's point, if, if Do- Joe Alt is still sitting there for some yeah. crazy reason, yeah. you got to do that. Yeah, that, that, that. That's, that's why you got to yeah. do that. That's why I made too. Because then all of the a sudden, with Peter at left guard, the left oh side gosh. of your line, kaboom, <clears throat> should be okay. There it is. Uh, real yeah. quick, uh, Jim freaking Nance says, "I'm I'm with Rhett. Uh, he had Spears pick. He was all over that last I'm, year. I'm, I'm, yeah, you dude, were, I'm, you love that's why they got to go on there. I'm trying to <laughs> see if we can go to get. Yeah, we need to go and get y'all down there a little earlier. Yeah, <laughs> just be down there sitting, soaking it all up. Because I'm telling you, well, y'all came back last year, and that was boom, 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 boom. I'm like, okay, let me write this down. Well, and it all, you know what all I right say, up. though? Rising junior, class of 2025, CMSOB, Coach Max School of Ball. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for popping in, man. so well. I know yeah. you're busy. That's what happens when oh, you walk around good. this you're building. Good. And Mac and I, we've already been, we've, we're have we going through and, and looking and checking on everybody that's going to be in the Senior Bowl. We're, we're working on edge pass rushers tomorrow, but mm-hmm. we've already been working for a couple of weeks trying to get into stuff. Uh, get into it here because yeah, it's that it. time of the year. Yeah. I Re- love it. Reaction day here on 